what's going on guys it's shy kurt here bringing you guys another video so today i am going to be looking at the new tour preview so i'm going to do my live reaction and then we will move on to the next segment and i will talk about it in more depth so here it is okay so one two three okay by the way i'm predicting it's gonna be a we track or the egypt tour don't ask me why but i just have a feeling it's one of those so let's check it out the sunset tour wait a minute okay there's shy guy right there okay that's very very nice um the sunset tour i don't recognize this track from anywhere um okay interesting sunset tour it's very very weird okay um interesting okay so yeah this is very cool the background yeah i don't i don't know where this track is from uh but if you guys do know then make sure to leave it in the comments down below but yeah let's move on to the next segment Alrighty, guys so as you can see we have the sunset tour so unfortunately i don't have the preview again or like the um art that uh, mario kart tour shows um when there's a preview like for example last tour it was the peach halloween one i don't ever see it because i record these right at reset and um, Nintendo decides to drop them like one hour after. But anyways, that's beside the point. So let's predict this tour. I do have to say, kind of disappointing. Um, a sunset tour. I think in the background it was Calma Calamari Desert 3. Um, there is a shy guy, but I don't know if he'll be an alt or an obstacle. But I do love how they're showing so much support to shy guy. Because it's just really nice to see him being shown again since in the past uh he wasn't really shown in this game a lot so i like how they're contributing him into more courses so yeah so this is a track right here and i do really like the camping sets right there and um i don't know if, what this is supposed to be targeted to because obviously it's not a holiday uh, i mean it could have been a thanksgiving tour but um the thanksgiving right now is only for the us so obviously it wouldn't fit worldwide but Sunset Tour sounds very, 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 very odd. Like, I don't know what it could mean. Like a Sunset Tour. Like, you, it's so, like, unpredictable. But um, I do have some characters that I think can be implemented into this tour. Again, this is my predictions before the art that Nintendo releases. So if I do get these wrong, do not attack me. Because I predict these off of just the, looking at the preview. So with that being said, let's predict the characters. So first character obviously is ex exploration um shy guy but obviously it's probably not going to be him because as you can see in the background right here um shy guys are going to be the obstacles in this course which are very very cool i really like how um shy guys are going to be inside the courses i'm very very happy to see that they have been in la laps and they also been in airship fortress and a bunch of other tracks as well but one character that i think can have a potential in this tour is perhaps a exploration monty mold this will be the first um new character to have uh alt that's obviously not gold and it will be very very nice to see him since he does also have a, a builder should i say uniform already which is the rocky wrench but it'll be very nice to see monty mole have an alt and obviously people would pull for it a lot and he would have hammers so yeah if this is not right again it's just something that i would like to see a lot uh, a Monty Mole alt will be also great for the fans. People love Monty Mole, so um, just imagine how much people are going to spend rubies for a Monty Mole alt. So, yeah. Also, something that fits with Sunsets, or a character that fits with Sunsets, is Princess Daisy. I do feel like Daisy will have an alt, but if she does not, Daisy Fairy may come back. I know I say this so, 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 so many times that Daisy Fairy is going to come back, but Sunsets very, very fit Daisy Fairy. And um, if Daisy Fairy doesn't come back, I hope that they do give Daisy a new alt, which it can be Daisy um, Explorer, because in the background, I don't know, like ex obviously explorers don't fit with sunsets, but why would they include shy guys with exploration outfits in the preview? So obviously uh, Daisy Explorer can be a possible possibility, but if not, then yeah, Daisy Fairy, I have high hopes of coming into this tour. Also, Wild West Tour Wario or Cowboy Wario, I think also have a chance for this tour since this Sunset Tour kind of reminds me of the Wild West Tour. And the Wild West Tour, in my opinion, was very, very, very uh, underwhelming 
tour name and concept. Although the tour wasn't bad, it really, really wasn't, but just the concept of it was so boring. And Calamari Desert is one of my least favorite tracks, <laughs> but um, probably that's why, but yeah. So Daisy Fairy and Cowboy Wario. I'm not sure if they will release another alt, but if they do, then I'm not quite sure what it can be unless it, uh, a daisy, yeah, unless it's just a daisy. But I think it will be a Montimo alt or a daisy alt, or also possibly a Shaga alt, which I doubt again. We just had one like two tours ago. Uh, for the anniversary tour and also in the background the shot guys are obstacles so let's predict ranked cup ranked cup could obviously be daisy cup or monty mo cup uh monty mo got his cup officially in the wild west tour when he became a regular super in the pipe so if monty mo does have an alt then the ranked cup will probably be probably be monty mo cup and or it could be daisy cup or baby daisy cup or it could just be a random cup, like something that's on the paid banners. So like La this Troy was a Birdo cup because she was on the paid banner. Um, so yeah. So with that being said, let's predict the paid banners. So for paid banners, I think that they will bring back the wild black cart. It has been in paid banners quite a bit, but I don't remember the last time it has been here. And the wild black has insane value and it's my number one most wanted cart in the game. So possibly that can be in the pack with the Waluigi in a $40 pack or just by itself in a $20 pack. And the second thing in the paid banner, I think it will be a glider and it will probably be a new glider or the chocolate donut. Since the strawberry donut tends to show up in paid banners quite a bit, I think that they might bring back the chocolate donut because it fits the theme, not really of sunsets, but the theme of the track. So yeah. So guys, as you guys know, in the anniversary tour, we had a special pipe that included of gold characters or characters in general. And in the Halloween tour, the tour after that, we had a Halloween tour pipe with characters again. And this has never happened in the history since they started bringing back these pipes in um, a Marine tour, I think. And so I think that they might bring back characters again. And this is where it comes in again. Daisy Fairy might come back in the pipe. But they might have bought the Halloween characters back because obviously it was Halloween. So there will probably be no characters again. So that means there will probably be carts and gliders. Which they may bring back the butterfly sunset, the butterfly wings and etc. Obviously since the butter butterfly sunset fits the um, theme of sunsets. Obviously it's in the name. And or if it's not in a pipe, then the sun butterfly sunset may be in a paid banner, which it fits a lot. So, yeah. For another alt that I just thought about, it can be the um, the Day of the Dead Mario or like the Mexican Mario from Odyssey. Some people on my Discord also men mention this. Um, so this track kind of looks sandy, so they could possibly bring back characters from odyssey or like a mario costume in odyssey and we know that this mario is in the mexican kingdom i don't remember the name of it sorry but they can bring back a character in this outfit which will be very cool and you know it's very expected that they're gonna be bringing back a new alt so yeah so in ranked cup this track obviously i think will have paywall top shelf so that include cowboy wario Daisy Fairy, again, she has been top shelf this tour, and I think it's time that they buff her. She has been pretty, pretty useless. No offense to the Daisy fans, but she's been very useless, so I think it's time that they buff her again. I also do think in this ranked cup, Gold Shaga has a possibility, don't take my uh, word in this, but I think Gold Shaga might have a possibility, or Halloween Mario, which Halloween Mario does fit a sunset tour since um, the season of Halloween fits with sunsets. So yeah, Halloween Peach or Mario may be top shelf, which I also really, 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 really wish that he is. Check out my pipe pole video for Halloween Mario. I got him in my three YOLO pulls, which is insane. But yeah, Halloween Mario, I feel like he should be top shelf since, you know, he was just in a tour before this. And I don't really like how Nintendo sometimes doesn't put the characters from their debut into the next tour, which is just like very, very like sad for the people who do pull, <laughs> for example, me. But I hope that they change this since we are in year two. So yeah. Next track in ranked cup, I think will be Wild West. Uh, oh no, not Wild West, Calamari Desert. Um, any of the variants, I really don't care. Probably the um, 
the first one, which will, the one that has Morton in it. We haven't had that in ranked for a while, and I really would like to see that come back and make its return. So yeah. Another track for ranked cup one will probably be Daisy Hills, which Daisy F Hills has not returned in so, so long. It's one of my favorite tracks and we just have not seen it. It's been MIA for so long. And Daisy Hills sort of does fit in with um, Sunsets. So I would very, very, very like to see Daisy Hills in the um, ranked cup of the Sunset Tour. So obviously we know that the rare ranked cup are not going to be all paywalled since there is a new tier shop which they will give us stuff that we need for top shelf in the ranked cups. So for Daisy Hills will probably be um, Toadette or Baby Daisy and they will be in the event shop and they're probably not going to only put supers and commons since we've seen with the tropical glider that they put here that we may be getting so many more high ends which will be very crazy if they do do this. I think it's a step in the right direction again. And yeah, it's very, very great for players who don't have the premium stuff. I myself do have everything in the tier shop and the prices are ridiculous. Um, I'm not gonna buy anything from them except for the common drivers just to max them out. But yeah, it's great for the new time players to spend their coins and get new stuff that actually is very, very helpful. So yeah. Next, I just wanted to quickly talk about tour gifts. Um, for tour gifts, they will probably bring back another Hanafuda, probably a pokey Hanafuda, but again, don't take my word on this because we haven't had a Hanafuda since the anniversary tour and this is going to be a new month and every month we usually commonly get a Hanafuda, so yeah. And one thing I really don't want is another gold character. I'm getting quite sick of them. Um, like, I really do not want them. Speaking of that, King Boo Gold, I really, really think that he should be buffed since... I don't want him to be a throwaway high end with a coin box so yeah i really wish that they do not bring another gold character in unless they do buff the previous ones so yeah alrighty guys so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and one little update here in the next upcoming week or days i will have a very 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 special video coming and you guys should definitely stay tuned for that so with that being said this is shagkart out peace